Hey, welcome back to Smithy's over 100 golf courses in a year. Uh, it's Monday the 3rd of June today and we're down in Wales playing in the Mizuno Golf Pairs event at uh, Celtic Manor 2010 course. This is course number 72 today and uh, we're not going to be videoing while I'm playing the course because I'm playing a competition so I'll be walking around the course videoing the different holes, give my summary at the end. Uh, nice sunny day today, let's go and see what it's got. Well, you start a uh, long walk from uh, Clubhouse to the first tee. That's way down the hill there. So we can focus in on it. The river running around. Of course, looks excellent. Ladies and gentlemen, it's course number 72 of 2022. It's Celtic Manor 2010 course on the tee. He may be Celtic, but the manner of his golf leaves a wee bit to be desired. From Kirkintilloch in Scotland. Smithy! Uh, so I looked down uh, first at Celtic Manor, the 2010 course where they held the Ryder Cup, 411 yards and straight down, a lot of bunkers on the left hand side then it's going to veer to the left and this is after the dog leg, first green, heavily protected by the bunkers at Celtic Manor as the second at Celtic Manor, 543 yards and I can assure you this hole is awash with bunkers, straight down Bunker, bunker, bunker. That's the third hole at Celtic Manor, 165 yards. Wee bit of water sitting in front. And that's a nasty roll back from the front of the green right down into the water like somebody did earlier this morning. That's the fourth at Celtic Manor, 414 yards, par four. Straight down the middle. Right, this is a cracker of a hole. I think this is stroke index one. Fifth hole, 399 yards. It looks like going straight down, but you can take the shortcut. It's the greens away over there on the right hand side. But there's a great big stream or even a river sitting there in front, so it makes it very, very difficult. And this is a slight dog leg opening out, fair about the bunkers to catch you out. Or even better, this big stream. Whichever way you try to go, it's protecting the green. Now this is the 6th hole, 394 yards across there, well that is if you take that route, which I did, bunkers to trap out anything that goes too far, and then it's a bit dodgy taking it on there, for me anyway at least. Absolutely super stretch of the course this, Lake comes into play in a few holes, or there's several of them. I look down to the 6th green from up the left hand side. Uh, if you go right, it's very, very dangerous at this hole. That's a wee look from behind the sixth green. I see it plays away down there and then inwards to the left, but all the time that pond's a big danger. Look at the backdrop. Seventh hole at Celtic Manor, par 3, 175 yards. Huge big bunker guarding the, the pin. They've got to go in towards the right hand side or draw it, a word that I don't normally use. This is the 8th hole, 374 yards, par 4, a couple of big bunkers, you go right and short, you're in that big bunker, go left and long, you're in that big one, narrow gap in between. Ninth hole at Celtic Manor, 2010 course, uh, 570 yards, along par 4, straight down then feet to the left, uh, a couple of bunkers in there, and anything down the left, the River Usk runs down there, so keep it straight. This is the green at the ninth, par five, when you've done your 570 yards. There's the River Usk out to the left. Now will pan round. There it goes. Heading seawards. Back to the green. That's a look at the 10th hole, par three at Celtic Manor 2010. 144 yards and this morning if you paid a tenner you could gamble if you hit the green you get a free round at one of the other courses I rolled through didn't I but you get £10 of vouchers so I've got a new baseball cap anyway let's look down the 11th par 5, 537 yards a long way a lot of bunkers there fairways out to the left and water all the way down the left to the green 
Celtic, Celtic Manor, 408 yards, par 4. As you can see anything left in the water. Now it looks fairly innocuous if you go straight up, but there's another great big lake in there just before the green. Show you that on the way up. And this is what's protecting the 12th hole at Celtic Manor, a rather large lake. <coughs> As you can see, the only escape routes are way around to the left. And back there's a pond. Ah uh, yeah, now another superb hole. It's the 13th hole, 155 yards. As you can see, there's rather a, a bit of water in front. I'd normally be using the stunt golf ball for this one, but played it this morning in the competition. Straight through the back into the bunker, then thinned it straight back into the water. Lovely. Another cracking hole. This is the 14th hole, Celtic Manor. It's 365 yards. Not the longest, but stroke index too. And there's rather a wee bit of trouble about here. Safe places down that way, but then there's another pond further up. Ponds, ponds everywhere. A closer look. And then just to the left of that green there, there's a big body of water as well. That's a closer look at the green here at the 14th. Nasty. Uh, it's a look back down the 14th from behind the green. You can see the ponds in there, there's only a narrow gap to get through it. That's the 15th tee, 328 yards, but it's a very, very sharp dog leg to the right. And it's a tremendously difficult approach to the green. You've got to really hit your ball way up this bit. Uh, partly in the Ryder Cup, from the back tee over there. The pros are just hitting it straight in between the trees there. And way up to the green. But as mere mortals, I've got to do it this way. And this is approach up to the 15th when you come round the dog leg. Stream right in front of it. Heavily banked green away up the top, a couple of bunkers protecting it. Is this a one tough hole or is it? No, it certainly is. It's a look down the 16th, 445 yards, par 4. Nice backdrop way in the distance. A look down, see some of the earlier holes there. A lot of water right across the course. River Usk. And back down to the hole. And it came over a hill at the 16th. Downhill to the green, lots of bunkers as you can see, especially on the right hand side. 17th hole at Celtic Manor, last of the par 3s, 168 yards, and it's a kind of tiered green, plateau green. When you go down into the dip, you've got to make sure it gets up high enough. Bunkers, a lot, especially on the right hand side, they fall away, and tight on the left, there's another bunker just to catch you out. Right, here we are, I've reached the 18th at Celtic Manor 2010. 545 yards, par 5, and I can reach it in 3, so anybody can, but it's a spectacular hole. Just wait till you see it a wee bit further down, I think that's a river rough still down there. And uh, it's all downhill mainly, until you go back up to the green. It's a look down at the approach to the 18th, it's quite spectacular. Clubhouse up on the left, just incredible. Hey, that's me just finished on the 18th at uh, Celtic Manor 2010 course. Uh, quite magnificent course. Astonishing design. Uh, it's a wee bit modern, so in my terms that means a wee bit lack of charisma, but it more makes up for it with a, a just meticulous design. It's really hard, no matter what handicapper you are. Of course, it's in magnificent condition. Uh, greens are superb, really difficult. Lots of water around, but all strategically placed. Thoroughly enjoyed it in the Mizuno Golf Pairs today. Great fun, great course. That's all for me today. Thank you very much. Good night.